Many supporters of the United Workers Party saw nothing wrong with the cancellation of the visa of Richard Fetter. To this day, they will argue that there was nothing wrong with that cancellation. But if it is thought that that issue lies dead, then we do have something else coming. These are the reasons why the U.S. would revoke a U.S. diplomatic visa. Terrorist activity, drug trafficking, human trafficking, money laundering. Which one of these applies to Richard Frederick? We know it is serious. Let's put an end to this embarrassment. When you tell me that a man goes to the embassy and tells the embassy that I import by container loads of drugs into this country and distribute it throughout the region. Wasn't he questioning law enforcement? When another man could write a report and indicate that Didas Coke or Dada's Coke, whatever his name is, was here in St. Lucia, in my company, when that report was sent from the embassy to the FBI, they called that person an unequivocal liar because Dada Skok had been under surveillance by the U.S. for the last five years. In fact, they indicated it would have been a much cheaper exercise to have him picked, to have him picked up had he attempted to leave Jamaica. What is even more is that Dada Skok, after he was captured, gave several interviews and gave up quite a number of people across the region in exchange for a lenient sentence of 10 years. He never gave up. Richard Frederick. In fact, he said he never knew who Richard Frederick was. If Dr. Kenny Anthony knows that there will be developments, because he was at the embassy with Le Corbinier, if he knows there will be developments, then one has to assume, it is reasonable to assume, that he knows the reason why my visa was revoked. He alleged on a political platform that it was because I was encountered with a briefcase containing some over 300,000 U.S. dollars. He said so. He's now in a position to give credibility to him. I'll tell you this, Dr. Kenny Anthony. As I said, <laughs> when it comes to Stevenson King, he's a man. You, Dr. Kenny Anthony, you are a pathological, compulsive, blatant, liar, deceiver. Kenny, tonight I call you a categorical, compulsive, pathetic, categorical liar. Kenny, you are a mighty deceiver. You have deceived the house on more than one occasion.